Hey everybody, my name is Travis and I have a simple scroll saw project for you guys just in time for Halloween. This time we are making some candy corns. These are nice little quick little projects that, uh, little segmented projects that we can knock out in a batch. And they kind of got that nice rough and rustic uh, look to them, nice and weathered. And they're super easy to make, so let's get started. So these candy corns are actually made from a cedar fence board. You pick them up over at the home center for two or three bucks for a six foot board. I sanded down the board on both sides with some 80 grit sandpaper and I'm not trying to get it completely smooth. I still want some of the roughness uh, left behind, but I do want to get rid of as many of those splinters as I can. And with a pencil, I sketch out the candy corn shape. It's nothing too fancy. Everybody could draw one of these. It's basically a triangle with rounded corners. I like to make these things in different sizes and shape and don't worry if they're not perfect because the less perfect they are, the better they look. I cut the board down to something a little bit more manageable. Then once they're drawn out, you just take it down to the scroll saw and you cut out the shape. I like to cut out the basic shape first and then I come back and I do the little curves a little bit after. And this is a great opportunity to batch out as many as you would like because honestly, everybody loves candy corns, right? Mm -hmm. So good. Once they're all cut out at the scroll saw, I take it over to the workbench and I'm going to knock off these edges. I'm using a Dremel tool and with a little sanding drum and I'm just trying to knock off the corners as much as possible and I'm actually being kind of rough with it. I, I don't necessarily want it real even. I have the rougher it looks, the better. It makes it look a little bit more hand carved or maybe it's been knocking around in a drawer for the last 30 or 40 years. What we're trying to get is that real rough and rustic look. Once I get the corners knocked off the way I like it, uh, now it is painting time. But don't worry, this is easy painting. You can't get much easier than this. Uh, the very bottom part we'll paint orange and then the middle part we paint yellow and the top we paint white. Don't worry if it's not perfect. If it isn't, it just makes it look that much better. Once the paint is dry, we grab a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper and then we start sanding the individual pieces. We want to sand away some of the paint, especially around the edges and on the high areas. And this will give that aged and worn look. Once I get them all sanded down, now it's time to glue them together. I'm just using a standard wood glue. Uh, just put it between the pieces, stick them together. If you got clamps, great. If not, a hey, friction fit will work just fine. They're not gonna get a whole lot of abuse. Just be careful of the extra wood glue squeeze out. You don't really want any of that. And I keep a little rag or a toothbrush to kind of clean out some of those crevices. Once the glue has dried, now it's time to give it a little bit of dirt and grime, you know, to make it really look old. So what I use is a little bit of stain, just a medium stain of some sort, and I just paint it on really, really thick, and then with a clean rag, I wipe it all off. What that does is it kind of tones down some of the bright colors, and it also soaks into the wood, so it makes it look nice and kind of dirty and grimy and old. And that's really the effect that we're looking for. Then we go ahead and let that dry. I usually let it dry overnight. And then the next day I add a little bit of furniture wax. I just glop it on pretty thick and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then with a clean rag, I buff it all out. I use an old toothbrush to kind of get into the cracks and crevices to get out some of that wax build up there. And then I let this sit overnight. Because we're using kind of an uneven wood, the uh, wax is going to kind of get into some of the uh, deeper recesses and it's going to give it kind of a cloudy look. An easy way to get around that is to use a heat gun and just kind of melt the wax and that allows it to kind of thin out a little bit and really soak into the wood really nicely. So those are my wood and candy corns to add to your little Halloween decor. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. That really helps me out an awful lot. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put videos like this out from time to time, and I'd love to have you on board. You can find me hanging out over at Scroll Saw Village. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll put links to all of that in the description below. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.